and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Monday the 1st of July. The local media headlines today. So only three more bedtimes to go before the general election and what looks like it's going to be a pretty historic change of government. How many of Cornwall's formerly Conservative MPs will survive? Estimates range from four to nil. I don't think anybody really knows, but I do believe that we're going to see some very close contests and that the turnout on Thursday is going to be crucial. The unions, which represent school bus drivers in Cornwall, are not happy about an investigation into a major vehicle fire on the A30 near Temple in April. Cornwall Council has thrown itself down yet another constitutional rabbit hole because of the political stitch-up which imposed a particular Tory councillor as chair of a scrutiny committee. Be prepared for delays and diversions at Camelford, where a building in the town centre seems to be falling down. And there could be fireworks at a council planning meeting today over proposals for automated car parking charges at a beach near Falmouth. The St Ives Times and Echo came out on Friday and led with another local story about transport, with a suggestion that it's time to bring back good old-fashioned traffic wardens. It's a town council initiative which stems from disappointment that a rather more complicated low carbon transport strategy is failing to make the progress initially expected. The BBC caught up with that news about how a German firm has bought Cornwall's Trewithen Dairy. Greatest Hits Radio warned of new average speed cameras in the Saltash Tunnel. The Cornish Times says Bodmin Town Council is planning to spend about £10,000 fixing its mayoral chain. The Falmouth Packet has a pleasant stroll down the memory lane of local newspaper production and finally Cornwall Live asked readers if they'd like to be on the telly. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.